Hey guys, welcome back to The VoIP guys. Last time around, we actually set about recording a customized prompt. And we promised at the end of the last video that we would show you how to then uh, export that customized prompt and bring it into your asterisk system. So, Matthias. Right. Um, we recorded a prompt in Other City yeah. and said this is a much better quality than recording on the phone. Mm -hmm. And now we see what we have to do that it fits to the asterisk needs. Okay, cool. So let's go um, to Order City. Here is, as we left it last time, this is our recording. We can also just play our recording. The recording button, and now we are recording already. We are recording already. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so this is our recording. What is the problem about the recording? The first problem is it is stereo. Yeah. You won't need stereo no. for a phone call. So, what you can do about that is we can split the track into mono tracks. Uh -huh. No, this was wrong. Split into mono tracks. So, because a recording with a microphone is mono, uh -huh. it was never stereo. Right. It were tr uh, just two channels in mono uh -huh. um, with the same content. So right. mm -hmm. you can see exactly the same waveforms um, for both. Okay. So this is my mono track and I can just delete the other track. Um, I could just switch the whole project to mono, mm -hmm. then I would even record in mono. Right. But maybe I want to mix it with the music, as we mentioned last time, uh -huh. and then I can mix everything down, and then I can mix everything down to mono at, at the end. Uh -huh. So I have one track left, which is mono. Okay. Uh -huh. um, the next thing we have to talk about is um, the sample rate. Okay. So normally the sample rate for um, ALO and MULO is um, 800 hertz. Okay. Um, CD quality is 44,100 hertz, something like this, I'm not sure, okay. much higher. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> um, so we have to uh, downsample it, so we have to reduce the sample rate. Okay. It's very easy in Order City. Mm -hmm. I can show how this works. So right. even you can listen to it, I'm not sure if you can hear it in the video, but I think so. Listen to it again with um, the yeah. sample rate of 44,100. The recording button and now we are recording already. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah, and we're also recording uh, two different microphones. Okay. So this way. Now I can change the project rate to 8000 hertz, what okay. we need for ISDN. The recording button and now we are recording Now it sounds like a telephone call. call. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are also recording uh, two so different microphones. This is what, what we need. Um, we could go higher um, in our project. So if you store the project for later, mm -hmm. I would just store it in as is stereo um, with my project rate I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I would every time I need it downsample to the format I need it. Right, because okay. if it is once downsampled, it is downsampled so and got anything about it's it. lost. So you keep basically the equivalent of a raw file yeah. uh, and then when you downsample uh, it, then mm -hmm. you export that as to what you actually need it, mm -hmm. but keep the basic raw file. Yes. So okay. for our um, proposals where we want to uh, fit the needs of uh, ALO and ULO codec, mm -hmm. we just leave it with the 800 hertz. Okay. If we have an HD codec, maybe we can change it. We yeah. can go higher there mm -hmm. and then store it like this. Makes Even sense. asterisk would decide between uh, the different formats if you store all of them. Uh -huh. And we can just decide which one to choose. And um, there is a console tool you can use for, uh, for resampling. This is called SOX. Uh -huh. um, it's a small little um, console tool. It's too much for our tutorial, but because it has thousands of things you can do with it. Right. Uh -huh. but, um, if you don't want to do it in Order City, you can even do all the sampling stuff on the console directly. Okay. So if you get something um, from a studio where you um, made the recording mm -hmm. and you bought it from there, 
um, then maybe you have to downsample it and maybe you get 50 files for your system, right. then SOX can just do batch work through all the files. Well, that's quite handy. Um, so in Older City, you have to open each file and change yeah. it to the quality. What you should not do is tell the studio you are working with, please record in mono um, 8000 hertz, because then you get the files like this, and if you need a higher quality, you, you have can't do anything about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good but, tip there. Yeah, <laughs> lots of tips there. Yep. <laughs> okay, what we did, we said um, 800 hertz, and we are in mono now. So um, I can now export the selected audio, or the audio, it's almost the same because I have only one track. And then I can say I want to save it, I call it Asterisk Tutorial. Uh, in wave format, um, sign 16 bits, it's okay. Um, and I save it. The artist, some metadata. <laughs> okay. And I can have a look at it um, in my file system. So I store it to studio. And that's it. The recording button and now. And you can even check. Um, what you did um, with the get info. I can see the sample rate is really 8,000 8, now and it's really an audio channel. It has only one channel, so it's mono. Yep. Um, stuff like this and it's not big. Mm -hmm. So my recording is... That really isn't big at all. Yeah, very small. Um, the next thing I have to do is just copy it over to the asterisk server. Uh, you do this with uh, SCP. You could use graphical tools if you want to, but you can just do it like this. And then we go back to our system to varlib asterisk sounds. Uh, we did another try yeah. for sure before <laughs> we showed it to you, but <laughs> for now it's empty and I have to copy it there from my home directory. And then we have to listen to it. So I invite just a new extension. No op. Playback. Same. We have to answer the channel. Same. We have to play back. Asterisk tutorial. We don't have to provide the ending of the file because it chooses it automatically yeah. because of the channel and the codec and the transcoding he has to do. We explained it already in another tutorial. Yeah, that's true. Um, and as always, the hang up. Hang up, yes. This should do the job. Recording button and now we are recording already. So it's quality should be okay. And, mm -hmm. recording, uh, and you can listen to it. Um, another tip is um, always listen to it on the target system. So if it sounds good on your stereo device, um, yeah. it's okay. Mm -hmm. But um, just copy to the asterisk, take a normal phone or a soft phone, and make a call and listen to it. Um, and sometimes it's just too loud or yeah, that could be a bad problem. Not. Yeah. Um, um, then you listen to it and then you can adapt the volume in Order City again and okay. mm -hmm. um, just publish it again. That's it basically, so you can produce happy little homemade prompts. <laughs> that was pretty, I was expecting it to be a lot more complicated, but that's pretty easy. Yeah. Cool. Good work. Thank you. Yeah. So what are we going to do next time? We will put it all together. Ah, so and make some IVR menus. Okay, there you go. Next time we're going to be uh, actually looking at the IVR menus uh, in detail. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye.